I've got my mark on the pipe, I push that in. I've got a window where I can see right on the center of that bend that I'm going to put the pipe onto it. And then I close the handle off and bring the hydraulic ram up. I'm going to bring it up first of all till it meets the two blocks. And then I'm going to stop and check that the pipe hasn't moved for me. With this bender, we've got to be really careful because the handle swings back up. So you always keep your head just to one side. So now the pipe's up at the blocks, the blocks are in place. I can look in or look through the window and check and make sure that we're all set up, ready to bend. I've put two white marks on the top of this wing. That coincides with the numbers on the block. So as the pipe comes through, the blocks turn and the angle moves from 30, 60 to 90. We want to go to 90 and just past it because the pipes always spring back. They spring back a bit more than the copper. So we need to go back past it a good wee bit. So now we bend it, we can see the hydraulic ram moving through. The two pipes are getting pushed back. The numbers are changing. I'm on about 25, 30 degrees now. So I keep going. I can always check down from above. I can see the angle. And now I'm just checking. I'm at 60 degrees. Keep going. And now I'm getting towards 90. I can always check just above by looking down on it. These are normally on the floor. We've got it in a bench just to make it safer for the students to use. So I'm about 90 degrees and I'm going to go past it just a small bit. Then I can release it. Because it springs back, I can have a quick check again. I think that looks not too bad, close to 90. Loosen it off, the hydraulic ram goes back and then I can take it out of the machine. Now because of the force behind it, that's stuck in pretty tight. And the only way of getting it off is banging it on the bench or on the floor. But I've got to be wary, I've got a thread on that end. So I don't want to bang it on the thread end in case I damage it, it doesn't go in the fitting. Bang it on the bench and I can look at it and right away I can see it sprung back a bit further than what I thought. 